Hi, my diva darlings. I know it's been a few days since your last daily diva diary entry. I've had a very trying week um, for the last couple of days. Um, and today is just Thursday. Um, I wanted to talk about toxic people. Whether this be friend, family, or foe, toxic people for me this week have been a mixture of all. I had a work situation that this year I have asked God to set clear boundaries for my life, clear, crystal clear, and to show me people. Show me people's intentions. Show me people's heart. Show me people for who they are. Don't let me have blinders on about people. And I found that out today about some people that, wow, it's it's, it's really thrown me. Um, I had someone to literally lie to my face about what they said. I clearly heard what was said about me. And when the person got called on it, they backpedaled and lied. And I clearly heard what I heard and what was said about me. But you know what? It's okay because it showed me who that person really is. And then I had a family member, the closest of closest family members to cross a boundary line with me that I refuse to participate in any longer. My peace of mind, like I've said before in a previous video, is the most valuable thing I own. And me being the only owner of it, which means my name only is on the deed to that property of my peace of mind, I refuse to sell it. I refuse to negotiate it. I refuse to allow anyone to take it from me. And I don't care who you are, whether you be my mother, my father, my sister, my brother, my child, my niece, my nephew, my grandchild. You will not take my peace of mind. And it made me really see toxicity in people, whether they're related to you or not. Toxic people have an agenda. I will not participate in that agenda. I will not be a part of that agenda. So I'm glad that God revealed those people and those things to me this past week. I thank him for it. I really do. One person I already knew that I've been dealing with my whole life. I'm 48 years old and I've been dealing with this family member my whole life. So that kind of gives you a clue as to who I'm talking about without giving all of the details of who this person is. But very toxic, very toxic. And it's been very toxic my whole life. I have had to start and start, start and stop therapy for many years, trying to get that relationship where it needs to be. And it's just not going to be that way. I have come to that realization in this session of therapy and with the situation that happened the other day, I know for certain that the relationship I wish I had, I know I will not have and it's okay not to. It is. It's okay not to. I would, the mental anguish of me wanting that to have a relationship with that person because it should be just as natural as breathing air. It's not going to happen for me. And you know what? It's okay. I forged a great relationship with my children and that would kill me if we did not have the relationship that me and my children have. I, that would kill me. That would kill me. And I purposely raised my children so that I can have, yes, I'm their mother and also their friend and their friend in trying to navigate the world on 
on that type of level. All my kids are grown now. My oldest is 31. My youngest is 19 and about to be 20 in a few months. So, yes, honey, I look good to have four grown children. <laughs> but um, I said all of that to say that sometimes you don't get to, to choose who you are birth into a family with. You didn't get to choose any of that. That was chosen by you, by the higher power that you believe in. So you have to play with the cards that you were dealt. I have played solitaire for a long time with the cards that I have. And it's okay. It is truly okay. Because I took those cards and decided that for me and my children, we will have a different type of relationship that I would not be toxic to their lives. I would be who they could depend on, who they can count on, who they can look to, who they can love, who they know that without a shadow of a doubt that they're not, when I need to call my mom, my mom will be there for me. Even in some of the, the bad choices that my children have decided to make, I'm still there for them. I'm there for them when they tell me the truth, when they are honest about the situation, when they feel the need to lie to me or disrespect me by lying to me, then I won't have anything to do with that. I refuse to because as their mother, I try to show them the sacrifice and hard work gets them where they need to be. And I am that person that is going to be there when you're doing the right things. When you're doing the right things and everything that you have tried to do in trying to do it by the right way and you still fall short, then your mom has your back. All four of my kids know that. All of them know that. One of them still decides to do kind of her own thing and that's okay. But know that I will not participate in that. I won't. And she knows that too. So I said all of that once again to say that even though you may have people in your life that are toxic, whether it be your workplace, whether it be your family, whether it be your circle of friends, ask God to show and reveal those people to you so that you'll know how to navigate around them, navigate through it. He did to me. And now I know how to navigate through it. I am still in Lenten season. That does not end until Good Friday, which is April the 10th. I am going to extend it to April the 13th. That way I have covered all of the Easter season. Um, and I am going to continue on this road. I don't, I, 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 I actually, actually don't care what's thrown at me. I'm really not because my obedience is going to be way better than my sacrifice when it comes to who I believe in. I truly, truly believe that. And he's shown me not just through the things that I have asked for during this time, but the things that he knows that I am in need of. And I so appreciate that with my God. So toxic people have been shown. I have had a time to reflect. I've had a time to process. And I am very grateful for it. It did not take me into a dark place. It took me into a place really of enlightenment and revelation that I need to pray for those people because the things that were said and the things that were done that would have normally previously tore me down, made me run to a dark place, made me question my existence, made me question who I am. None of that happened. None of it. And I am so thankful for that. I am so thankful for that. So know that whatever you have going on in your life, you can conquer it. If you are determined to conquer what is going on in your life, if you are determined to remove those people, whether they be related to you or not, just because they're family does not mean you have to put up with their toxic ways and their toxicity. Point blank period. You can love them from afar. You can still honor them from afar, but they do not have to be a part of your daily 
life to interrupt your peace, to interrupt your peace of mind. They do not have to be there in that daily struggle that you're already going through. Because that's not of God. That is not of your higher being. That is not of your higher power. So know that it's okay to put distance between you and those people. Your co-workers, your friends, it is okay. That means now you know to remove those friends from your circle. You now know that the co-workers that you have, you're there to do a job, to get paid and go home. That's it. We do not have to be friends. We don't have to even like each other, but we will respect each other in that workspace. We will do our 7.5 and we will go home because they do not have to go home with me. And I do not have to go home with them. All right, Diva Darlings, this is enough of my rant for today. I'm going to do the rest of my hair. I'm getting my hair braided tomorrow. And um, I just want to get that off my, my chest for tonight. Um because I have been thinking about it for the last couple of days since since the first incident happened. I've been thinking about it for a couple of days. And it didn't have me in a space, but it just had me thinking and reflecting on it. And I'm, I'm very, very happy that it didn't put me into a space that I would start questioning life or anything like that. I didn't do any of that. I didn't start questioning who I am and what did I do wrong because I did nothing wrong, said nothing wrong. It was just an attack against me and my character, against me and who I am. And me being 48 years old, if I don't want to do something, it's not going to happen. Not anymore. I'm not going to be a pushover. I'm not going to be a doormat. I'm not going to be any of those things. If I feel some type of way about it, I am going to voice it. I am no longer going to hold those things in and cause me mental anguish because I don't want to hurt somebody else's feelings. Well, my feelings are getting hurt in, in the meantime. Nope, that won't happen anymore. Nope, not in 2020 and moving forward until I get ready to take my last breath. If I feel some type of way about it, it's going to be said. If I don't want to do something, it will not be done. And no heaven, nor hell, nor high water going to make me do it. I don't care who you are. If my God didn't tell me to do it, it won't be done. Not if Tony B don't want to do it. So, you all have a great evening, my diva darlings. I will see you in a couple of days. Y'all have a good rest of your night. Bye-bye.